start. Um, I'm curious just how the spring has been for you. I know Satterfield said you had a shoulder injury last season. That's kind of kept you limited a little bit. Uh, so kind of what have you been doing so far in the spring? Um, I mean, I've been working, you know, getting better. Um, of course, you know, I've been doing rehab and stuff like that, staying on top of that. So um, it can get better, you know, get a lot stronger. Um, as far I'm still like, I'm still doing the, the same me. It just it limited me a little a little more than you know usual. But other than that, you know, Matt got a great plan, you know, to keep my my injury. You know, um, well I'm not injured no more, but you know to keep keep everything you know together and um, make making sure that you know my muscles or anything or you know my shoulder doesn't get weak. So um, everything's going pretty well though. You said you said. Are, you're back. I mean, you said you aren't injured anymore. Are you back to full 100 percent? Um, I mean, you know, uh, I mean, I'm I'm out there. I'm out there playing. So you know, I mean, time only time will tell. So um, as far as that, though, I'm I'm still lifting, still lifting, uh, still working out, and all of that stuff. You know, still doing the same thing I've been doing. Hey, Marshawn, Michael McCann, the Cardinal Authority. How would you describe how the competition is at the tight end position this spring? Uh, it's great. You know, we got we got some great guys. You know, we got a lot of guys. Uh, of course, we lost uh, M. Pfeiffer, but, you know, we got, you know, Francis Sherman, you know, um, Des Melton. You know, those those are guys that are ready to step up. You know, they're proving themselves in spring ball that they're ready to do that. Um, DJ and Isaac, you know, are, are also really good as well. So, you know, uh, you know, we – we try to get the best out of each and every one of us. And, you know, uh, yeah. Marshawn, what are you, hey, it's Jody Dimling with Cardinal Authority. We kind of go back to your play. What, what do you kind of expect now or what do you want to see from yourself between now, now that you're back 100%, between now and the, and the beginning of the season to kind of, uh, to take your game to the next level? What do you try to work on to get better? Uh, I need to work. Uh, I feel like, you know, my footwork, um, more technique and stuff like that. Um, Cause you know, you never arrive and I always got, I always want to get better each and every day. So, I mean, you know, technique, um, stretch a lot more, um, you know, uh, run, you know, do all that uh, stuff to uh, get me prepared for this uh, season coming up. <laughs> Hey, Marshawn, this is Matt McGavick uh, from Sports Illustrated. Uh, not only are you uh, a tight end with the most returning production, but you're arguably uh, one of the most returning productive pass catchers in the entire offense, both tight ends and receivers. What's it like knowing that going into next season, you're g given all the uncertainty in the wide receiver room, uh, that you're going to be in that much bigger of a role? You can repeat that. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get to hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, basically, since you're arguably the mo the pass catcher, both tight ends and wide receivers, who has the most returning production, what's it like knowing that you're probably going to step in, into an even bigger role, given the amount of experience that you have? Um, you know, um, hopefully, you know, I'm looking up, I'm looking forward to that, you know, um, to be that guy. Also, we got we got a lot of, we got a lot of guys that can step up, that's stepping up in the uh, receiver room too. You know, Justin Marshall, you know, Jordan Watkins, and uh, guys like that. You know, they're ready to fill in those roles that you know the guys that we lost last year. And uh, you know, it's 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 a it's it's a process. You know, we're we're in the process of that happening. You know, they're out there making plays in spring ball, and you know, it's um it's fun to watch. Marshawn, Mike, and McCammon again. What's your impression of the guys on the other side of the line, the guys you're going up against? How's that defense looking? Man, there's some dogs. <laughs> there, there's some dogs. You know, uh, they're putting in hard work each and every day, and you can just tell just by, you know, playing against them and just watching those guys. They're flying around all over the field and stuff like that. So I'm excited to see um, what, our, what our defense does this uh, upcoming season. Marshawn uh, Cameron again, kind of go back to the other tight ends. I mean, uh, that Wake Forest game, you guys were able to get some guys some playing time. Francis Sherman had a pretty good day. Dwayne Martin had a pretty good day. Just how much have you seen some of those young guys build on that experience towards the end of the season? Uh, well, you know, I, I feel like, you know, they got comfortable, you know. Um, it goes back to, like, you know, when I had my first start, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't you know, really experienced. So, uh, you know, I was – 
kind of playing a lot slower, but it's just like, you know, those guys are getting the reps. Um, and, you know, Francis scored, Francis Sherman, he scored. And, man, that I think that gave him a lot of uh, confidence out there, you know. And, you know, DJ, he's also a young guy, and <clears throat> he makes a lot of plays and stuff like that, you know, on big runs and stuff. So I think he's, he's, he's getting his confidence up, too. And, you know, they're just playing very comfortable. For you, I know you're like you said, you're not out there completely uh, practicing. But how have you tried to stay involved and help their development, even though you're kind of uh, hurt and kind of can't can't get out there as much as, as much? Uh, as you uh, minimum reps and you know just talking to the guys whenever like after that play is over. I'm um, just giving you know my my side of my side of the uh, point of view, and you know they they listen, they look up, and, you know. Uh, yeah, that's really all I got. Good. Uh, on, on a different note, I think Saturday will be a year uh, from the last time, the last spring practice you guys had when COVID shut everything down. If you, I don't know if you could put into words just what this year's, this whole, this last year has been like for you all from trying to get on the football field and battling COVID the whole, the whole time. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think it was a big wake up call just to everybody, you know, um, you never knew if you were going to play football again, you know, because of the pandemic and stuff like that. So, you know, we just take each and every day, um, you know, we're blessed that we get to wake up and come out here and, and practice spring ball. You know, there's other schools that haven't done that and stuff like that. So we just try to be thankful. Did it take you guys? I mean, you guys would ha usually have a normal, like robust, like social life doing a bunch of stuff. Did it, was that an adjustment for you? For you? Uh, yeah, you know, um, we had to kind of be a lot of we had to be a lot uh, separated, and you know, we wasn't always together and stuff like that in the hotels. Um, but you know, it it made us closer. You know, we had to make some adjustments and move on with it, and that's what we did. Good. Everyone good. Thanks, Marshawn. Sure. Oh, bias.